let's have a conversation about the gutters here. So we have a gutter that runs right to this one downspout so that there's no downspout here. The gutter guy ran this like an L taking all the water to one downspout. Now you see all that roof. We're gonna max out this downspout, but I'm not worried about it and I'll tell you why. These are two by three downspouts. You can't max out a three inch corrugated pipe with a two by three downspout. Mathematically, it's not possible. The three inch pipe will not become overwhelmed. So we have this downspout flowing a ridiculous amount of water on a three inch pipe. Now we have another downspout over here, same thing, two by three. Look how much rooftop we have. We have this long gutter run. Now we do share the water, the responsibility for the water. We have a downspout here, we have a downspout here. But nonetheless, there's a fair amount of rooftop and that's certainly a long gutter run. So because we're maxing out two, two by three downspouts, we wanted to Y them to a four inch pipe. So that's what we did. We just gave a four inch through here. We tied it in the three inch. It's gonna stay super clean because we're gonna max it out. Maxing out a two by three downspout is gonna run that three inch pipe pretty hard. It's gonna keep it super clean. We're gonna have both of them at that point where they're wide together. Here's the heavy duty Y, the extra heavy duty Y. We got our external with our female that snaps into our external. This is how we're gonna do three inch corrugated to a four inch main. Right here we got a dual all riser and the not quite a 90 are offset. This is ideal for three inch. That's how you want your three inch right there. Gonna run a three inch one piece back here so that no roots can get in. All right, so we have four places that we can access this line. We got the pop-up emitter where you can get your hand down in. You can check for tree buds, tree seeds, clean them out. We got one of our catch basins here. So we need to access the line, which I can't foresee it, but this also can collect shingle gravel. We have a not quite a 90 with a leaf filter. Same thing over here. We can access it from four different locations. You can push your garden hose through the leaf filters. 
run some water if you want. You don't have to on a system like this. It's going to be moving so much water. With the amount of gutter that we have in rooftop, I'm not worried about it. Matter of fact, during the hard rain, this pop-up is going to be very exciting to watch. This is going to be moving some water. But that's a no regret tie-in of two gutter downspouts right there. You can access it from the beginning of the run, midway, at the very end. This thing is going to last the homeowner their lifetime. If you found any of this information helpful, give us a thumbs up. It supports the channel. If you have any questions regarding this installation, leave them in the comments section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until the next video.